Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Marketing and Questions, and we're back looking at seeing what we can do with Alfred. And finding files is one of the things that he does really well, so let's find some files. There's a few ways of going into this. Now, one of the things you can do with this is to press spacebar and then start typing in something that you're looking for. So if I start typing in IMG, we're going to find some image files. If I start typing in um, Dragon Dictate or Dragon, it starts coming up with some files. As you can see, it's brought up an application right at the top of that there. So obviously it's kind of uh, learning from what I've been looking for before or using before. So it's actually brought up the uh, application Dragon Dictate. But I can also just uh, move down one there and go into Dragon Workings that way by uh, moving down that uh, list there. So I can also press Command and a particular number to get into a specific file. So if I do Command 6 now, that takes me into Moo and right into the file that I was trying to open. Now another way of getting into your files is to start typing in the word Find. And then we're going to do the same thing again. And that again gets into a list of files that all begin with drag and gives us an opportunity to sort of open up various files. And you'll find that when you do some of these different uh, ways of getting into things, you'll get different results. So if we go for open instead, the word that you're looking for or the file that you're looking for, you only get different results than when you type in find. Okay. And another way of going to it is by doing apostrophe and then the one that you look, whatever it is you're looking for. You don't need to put a space in after the apostrophe. You can start doing apostrophe or a space bar. Either one gets the same thing. And then start typing in the uh, whatever it is you're looking for. So um, mix and match with those and uh, work out which one finds your files that you're looking for best. Another way of looking for files is to actually start going into the folder system. So what we can do here is just press the forward slash key and we can start looking through it that way. So um, for instance, we want to go into the uh, users and I can use uh, the arrow key if I've set it up in the alpha preferences. OK, so let's go back into our file searching again. Go into navigation. And that's why it wasn't working. Can I put the shortcut in there? So let's try that again. Press the forward slash key. We'll go down to users. Press the arrow key to the right. And we'll go into this one here to the right, come down to Downloads, and you can keep going down. And using the left arrow will take you back up the file folder tree. So that's one way of going in there and finding your stuff. And as you can see, it's another good way of getting into stuff that you can't normally get into, perhaps if you haven't got the uh, Finder set up properly. So for instance, if you want to go into the library, that's a useful way of getting into the library. So that's uh, navigation through your stuff there. And as you see there, I've got previous path. So I'll start typing in previous. And it's telling me to browse previous path. I press enter and in we go there because that's where I was looking for previously. So I'll come out of that by pressing the um, backspace key to get back to the start again. If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. What else can we do with this? Well, there's system commands. So I can tell it to uh, go to sleep. And that will sleep the computer for me. I can do a restart. And it's gone reside to a restart. So that would restart the computer. So that will get the screensaver going for us. So we've got a list of what we can do there in terms of the system commands in this one here. So you can see we can go screensaver, trash, and all these ones down here. And uh, it's quite useful. So I could even get force quit up there if I want to. So let's do that. So it's given me a choice there of all the applications I have open. I can force quit any of those there. So let's uh, press Command and 9 and force quit Textastic, which, by the way, is a very good text editor that you can use. And uh, I've been using it on the iPad for some time, and it's recently come to the Mac as well. So let's go to something else here, which is kind of useful. I can press the up arrow. And that goes to the last thing I put in there, which was text. Or I can use the up arrow again, and it's going through the previous things that I did. And I can find things again that I was looking for before. How about that then? Marvellous. So that's going to save you a good bit of typing. Now, another thing that's quite useful is, for instance, let's go to MOU. And that's looking for Moo. You can save a lot of key presses on your keyboard by just typing one letter and getting to the one you want. So I've got a choice there. Quite likely it's going to give you the one you want. So you can go for Mars Edit or Moo or whatever else. 
So for instance, this one here, Moo, which is my favorite text editor for Markdown, I can do that one there. Now if I press the function key, it will give me the option of doing various things with that application. And I can look at recent documents, so things that I've uh, been open before with Moo, and that's really, really useful. So I can get into this document, which is one that I've opened fairly recently on this application. Press Enter. Go back into this again. And it works with files as well, so let's do a space bar and then uh, let's find one of our Dragon files. And you see the uh, last one we opened up there is the last one to come up in the list there. So it is learning as we go along here. And now I can do is press the function key or the control key and it'll open up that there. Or I can have it do an email. So let's do uh, email. And the file is already attached and ready to go to whoever I'm going to send it to. So I'm going to send it to Fred Bassett. In terms of sending an email, that's another possibility. So let's go into Alfred again. And this time I'm going to tell it to email. And I want to send an email to uh, Fred. And see, so Fred is the first in the list there. So I'll just press on the Enter. And it's opened up an email. And it's already in the subject line for me to start typing. And then start typing the body of the message afterwards. Another thing that's quite useful is to have a large type. Sometimes you want to have some large type on the screen. So let's um, type in something on here. So large. And then I've got to do Command and L. How about that? Brings it up on the screen there, which could be really useful. Say, for instance, you want to ring somebody up. You'll only see the contact this way if you've got the power pack. If not, it'll open it up in contacts itself. But what I can do is do Command L with this here. So, for instance, I might want to see the email address up large. So what I want to do is I want to uh, make a phone call. So let's uh, type in Fred because I want to see Fred's phone number there. And I'm going to press Command L. And now I have the phone number large on the screen so I can read it off easily and make my phone call. Go into this one here, for instance, and I'm looking for image files. So I press spacebar, IMG for images. And I want to have a quick look at that. Press the Shift key. I've got a quick look of it. You have to remember that it's the shift key that brings this up and not the spacebar as it is in normal with uh, anything else you do with uh, the finder. But uh, it's not too difficult to remember that. That's good, isn't it? So this is Dave Allen looking at Alfred again. So we're still not looking in workflows yet because I'm still finding out more on how to do them. But I have made a workflow and I'm going to show you what I did in the next video. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.